warm up today. We are in Van Buren to talk with the Black Knights. I'm Mark Koontz. Matt Finkel will be with us in just a little bit. We begin with head coach Kevin Schaup. And coach, coming off a, a historic season for Van Buren, a, at some point you've got to put 2014 in the past, but at the same time, it, it, it's got to be a pretty special year to look back on. Yeah, absolutely. It was a lot of fun. It was a great experience, um, you know, for everyone involved, but especially these guys moving into the 2015 season. Um, other than that, we've pretty much flipped the switch and uh, we're moving forward and ready to put together another good season. Quite a few seniors on last year's team. Who are you looking to replace a very talented, very special group of kids? Uh, we've had a lot of guys step up in a lot of various ways uh, on both sides of the ball. Um, the the two B junior I'm sorry the two B seniors you know I got a couple guys uh, limited playing time last year but are ready to step in and fill those voids um, I have some guys who were sophomores last year uh, and kind of just waiting on the fringe um, and and didn't maybe get as much time as they deserved due to that good senior class ahead of them uh, but they've had a great off season a great camp uh, and guys are stepping in ready to play and uh, got a lot of competition at various spots you know for the same reasons so it's been a good camp a lot of competition looking forward to seeing how things pan out when we uh, start hitting. Speaking of camp, last year you guys went down to Ohio Northern, really paid off for you. This year a little bit different, still a camp, but a little bit closer to home. Yeah, we stick around, uh, stay at the school uh, on occasion here at the high school. Um, to be honest, I probably prefer this um, just because, you know, everything's right there. You know, we eat in the cafeteria, camp in the gym usually, uh, and it's right off the locker room. So everything's right there, uh, whereas if, when you go to a campus, you're, you know, trekking all over campus. But uh, keeps everybody kind of close-knit here. Um, and a little less concerns, you know, we have a little more control here uh, than the, the confines of a, uh, you know, university. But either way, it's great bonding time, good team building stuff. Uh, we have a great time with it. It's exhausting, but uh, it's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I mean, having 72 hours just where you're all together the entire time, that's got to be really important to, to build those bonds and to really start getting some accountability within your team. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and th there's a lot of uh, unspoken things or unspoken advantages. Um, just, you know, there's a lot of football stuff that we do, but there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And we do a cornhole tournament and, you know, ping pong tournaments and uh, team meetings and team film and weight room. And, you know, it's just a lot of time together. Uh, the guys do a good job kind of uh, coming out of their niche. It's it's good for the, um, the, the freshmen as well, <clears throat> you know, proving that they're a part of the team and, and finding how they belong. Division six this year once again. How are your numbers looking? Uh, good. Uh, we got 55 on the roster this year, which I think is the most ever. Um, definitely the most since I've been here. So we're real excited. 55 guys, you know, coming out working hard every day, and you know we're well into the first week, and nobody's dropped off yet. So, do you think having the 55 is that a response to the playoff run last year? Is that just having some larger classes coming through the school right now? Well, I think that it's an exciting time for the Van Buren football program. Uh, you know, coming off last season, and you know we've had a, a undefeated JV for two or three years now. So we're having some success all around the program. I got uh, great staff as far as junior high goes and as the program goes down. So um, those things are definitely definitely advantageous uh, and, and numbers are key at a small school, you know. Um, the key to any successful team is avoiding injuries. But when you got 55 on the roster, you know, you can kind of have a little bit of a crutch there. So what does your coaching staff look like this year? Uh, good, solid. Um, very similar to last year, uh, Don Masters won't be coaching with us this year, uh, but I got a guy who's worked with me for four or five years. In fact, I coached him at Finley, um, so I know him really well, trust him, um, and he stepped in nicely. So we got a solid staff. They work They work like crazy. Uh, the kids love them. We have a lot of fun and get a lot of work done. Open up against Allen East and then travel to Bluffton, a game you'll be able to see here on WOSN, and then you get into the BVC. Last year was a breakthrough season for Van Buren. Last year was also a breakthrough season for perhaps the entire conference, not only getting five teams in the postseason, but having success for a lot of those teams in the postseason. Is, is there a, a sense of pride in the BVC now with, with the success the conference has had the last few years? Absolutely, I think so. I mean, it's always been a strong conference um, and, and done well in the playoffs. You know, the way the league's set up now, uh, it bodes well to playoff appearances with regards to computer points. Uh, you know, last year we represented three different divisions as a league, uh, and again, like you said had success at all three levels so um, it's, a, it's a great league you know you can never take a week off uh, I'm excited to see what happens and to me it's a pretty open race going into this year. 5-0 and in the Valley Division to earn the division title 
last year for this Blanchard and Valley setup. Now in the future, you're going to go with just the full division, one conference with with everybody in there. Do you like the way this setup has worked for the first couple years? I mean, scheduling wise, it's still going to be the same. Where you're going to be, I think they do a great job scheduling and trying to get the schedule against similar size schools and that type of thing. But having the, the separate division set up, do you think that worked, or are you happy to see that go to the the wayside? Uh, I'm happy to see it progress a little bit. Um, however, you know, I like the flexibility with the scheduling to give us some non-conference games. Um, especially being a school that's one of the bigger in the BBC, you know, being a Division Six school, you know, it's nice we can kind of venture out on our own and get some bigger schools. Um, you know, Allen East and Bluffton, both Division Six teams, um, you know, helps us out with regards to trying to uh, make an appearance in Week 11. What do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be for the Black Knights? Uh, probably our speed uh, will be faster than ever, uh, a little bit smaller than ever, so just a, a different personnel than we're used to. Uh, but I think, you know, schematically as a staff, we've adjusted well. Kids are buying in. Um, my seniors are doing a great job with regards to you know raising the bar and, and pushing to the next level. Uh, they've done a great job with accountability. Uh, it's kind of a nice spot for the program to be in when when the seniors are taking advantage or uh, you know taking the reins with regards to you know accountability and discipline and all those things that you know my coaches probably in the past had to harp on. So the kids are buying in. You know the seniors are taking the reins and things are going well. You mentioned the the size, lack of size. Is that your biggest concern then going into the year? No, not at all. Um, you know, I, I think we're big enough. We just, you know, it's a little bit different personnel. You know, we're not necessarily going to jam it down their throat uh, as we've as we've done in the past, uh, and more so utilize a athletes and, and some speed. What do you need to get accomplished before that uh, week one game with the Mustangs? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, we just got to keep <laughs> progressing. Uh, you know, we've had a great week. We had a great summer. Um, you know, we utilized the ten days well. I thought. Uh, had some good success at seven on sevens. Uh, kids are confident, filling in the spots nicely. Uh, need to continue to in increase accountability uh, with regards to everything, uh, and we'll be all right. Finally, what are the goals? What are the expectations for this year for Van Buren? Uh, we're looking for another solid season. You know, as the cliche goes, want to know, uh, you know, every week. But we're expecting uh, to to be playing in the playoffs again this year uh, and competing for a league championship. All right, thank you very much, Kevin Shop from Van Buren. We're gonna take a break here on the warm up and we return. Matt Finkel will sit down with some of the Black Knight players here on WOS. Welcome back to the warm-up at Van Buren High School. I'm Matt Finkel, and I'm joined by a couple of Knight seniors right now. Peyton Whitaker to my right, defensive tackle guard, and Zach Longio on the end, D end, tight end. Guys, last year, a historic season for the program. First playoff appearance, you get the playoff win. What did you learn from last year, and, and what was the experience like in the taste of that postseason? Uh, definitely just uh, definitely hard stepping up and, uh, you know, young guys, you know, coming up from last year. Uh, you know, stepping up, they never played. You know, they, they stepped in, played played a great role on our team. Whether it's whether it's leadership, you know, leading other guys, leading younger guys, is just just an attitude change overall. Zach, what was the experience like for you getting into the postseason, getting the victory, seeing the team come together, the community rally around the team? Um, it was very surreal. I mean, it was a it was a great experience. Whole community came out. Um, I mean, it was pretty much packed to the packed the stands out at a uh, uh, Ohio Northern for our playoff game, and uh, it was pretty amazing. Peyton, how's camp going so far this year? You guys graduated a lot of seniors last year, so now you're taking on the leadership role. How's that been going for you? It's been going great. We got, a, we got like I said, we got a lot of young guys that got to step up this year too. You know, uh, we lost so many seniors last year, and, and they all they all played a great great role. Um, you know, this year we just got we got kids you know that played JV last year that that, that got to step up and they got to play big roles in the team this year. Plain and simple. Zach playing in the Blanchard Valley Conference and in the Valley Division, and, a, and it's a tough conference, of course. What do you have to do week in and week out to compete in the BVC? Uh, we just need to stay focused and uh, take it. I mean, take it week by week. Don't look at. I mean, we need to take consider and uh, look at the big picture. But you know, stay focused every week and just handle the task in front of us. Peyton, what's been a highlight of camp for you so far? Could it have been the running workout we just witnessed the end uh, of? Yeah, the derbies are they're always they're always fun. They're always. This year we spread it out a lot, a lot more running rather than uh, rather than a lot of reps compared to last year. So yeah, those derbies are always a great time. Zach, what do you think uh, the strength of this year's team is going to be? Um, I think defense is where we're most solid. Um, we're going to have a lot of guys stepping up on our offensive end this year, but it's going to be a great year. Peyton, you're on the line. Yes, what sir. is the line looking like? Is it a big group of guys, a close knit bunch? Uh, you know, we got we got we got a couple big ones, but just just like the the rest of the team, you know, we we got a lot of speed, just like our line, you know. 
And Zach, what games are you looking forward to? You guys open up at home against Allen East. That's a different than last year. Everything else, the opponents are the same after that. Is there any game that you have circled? Um, I think the Macomb game is very important for this year. Uh, I mean, we beat them in their hometown last year, and uh, bringing it home this year is going to be a lot of fun. Should be a competitive one. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Good luck this season. Time for a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, joined by a couple more nights. Third and final down from Van Buren, and there's three more Knights with me now. Andrew Kelly to my right, linebacker, outside lineman. Nick DeVore in the middle, running back, defensive lineman, and Marcus Brand on the end, tight end, defensive end, a trio of seniors. Andrew, let's start with you. Last year, graduated a, a good class of seniors. What did you learn from, from those guys and seeing how they led the program to, to history, making the, the first playoff appearance? Well, I got some leadership skills from them. They knew how to handle a lot of the players and push them through these hard two weeks of two days especially. Um, then the rest of the season, they really uh, pushed us harder. And uh, like in the important games, they knew what to do and how to finish them. Nick, for you and, the, and this group of seniors, what have you guys done to come together as, as a unit and really take on those leadership roles that were vacated by the graduating seniors? Well, we did this like leadership uh, classic coach shell pad uh, in the mornings at uh, 7 a.m. that we would do like before school and everything. We'd start school at 7.50. And we'd just like, he'd bring like speakers in and everybody. And uh, we just do like a bunch of leadership. Like we'd go over like our expectations for this year and like what kind of roles we need to bring along to these young kids and what kind of class we lost and then Kind of like a classic. We're like we're a lot smaller than what we used to be. So yeah, it seems like a good way to, to get everyone acclimated. Marcus, I know last year you guys went to Van Buren for the camp, and this year I guess you're having it at the high school. Which do you prefer? And uh, it must be fun to just get the team together, right? Yeah, um, I preferred the at, well, I was at Van Buren because. I'm sorry, not Van Buren. I, I meant Owen. I meant to say Owen. You you caught me. So you, you were at Owen. You last year, this year at the high school. Which do you prefer? I would have to say I prefer the, uh, well, it's at the high school. It was, uh, food was, I like the food better. Our moms prepared it, mm -hmm. kind of sentimental kind of thing. Nice. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Andrew, for you, what, uh, playing in the BBC, talked about it with the other guys, but it's competitive and one of the better conferences in the area. What do you have to do week in and week out? Uh, perfect reps, perfect practice. Uh, we really have to understand the other team and, uh, it's important to get the younger kids in in case somebody goes out, gets hurt. They need to know what to do, too. Nick, we'll just finish with you quickly. What do you think the area of improvement needs to come from most before week one? Our condition. Uh, a lot of people are out of shape. Uh, we do a lot of running now because we have to be fast, more condition. Uh, our size last year helped us out of not being as much condition as we should be this year. So that's what I would probably say, more condition than everybody we used to be. All right, guys, best of luck this season. Thanks for letting us come chat at practice. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up from Van Buren. For Mark Koontz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSF.